How we doing? As the dog days of summer are upon us, hotter than this hot cup of coffee, it serves as a reminder how dangerous summer heat can actually be. It's the number one weather-related fatality across the United States, over flooding or any sort of severe weather. Mainly because it comes when the sun is shining and it's a beautiful day. And when heat indices are pushing the triple digits this week, it's best to just hang in the air conditioning. Especially considering everything is getting warmer, particularly in the summer. Since 1970, Norfolk has added 21 days where temperatures are above normal. That's three weeks in the summer. By 2100, locally across Hampton Roads, our summers are going to feel more like that of Monroe, Louisiana. Now, where some of the biggest problems live in the heat are in the car. According to the USDOT, there's been over 900 hot car child deaths since 1998. Always. Check the back seat of your car even if you're just popping in the store for five minutes. On a day where the afternoon temperature is 90 degrees, the inside of your car will get up to 120 in just 15 minutes. So crank the AC, find the cool spots, stay hydrated, trade the hot coffee for iced coffee, and beat the heat. Salut.